In this video we're going to focus on the OCR history exam question What is the message of this cartoon? And of course it's a six point question uh, The topic of this focuses on the League of Nations as you can see there and the cartoon was published in 1919 so it's published uh, around the time of the founding of the League of Nations so let's just familiarise ourselves with the mark scheme here. So always when answering GCSE exam questions, always consider the uh, mark scheme. And for one or two marks out of six, you're simply going to answer the question. You're going to directly answer it without backing it up. And that leads us on to three to four marks out of six. In order to get these marks, uh, you need to make reference to um, the source details within the cartoon itself. So for example, you're going to make reference to the different points here and you're going to figure out what they represent and what it symbolises. And then finally, when focused on this type of question, you should always consider the contextual knowledge, and you'll need to include that within your answer. So essentially this means what was going on at the time. And it's the context of uh, America during this period that's really important for the cartoon. In 1919, it was the idea of President Woodrow Wilson to set up the League of Nations. It had several main aims, but principally it was concerned with trying to achieve world peace, trying to prevent such a horrendous conflict as World War I from happening again. Now, America actually joined uh, World War I in April of 1917. This was about three years after the, after the beginning of it. And here you can see the, uh, the American character, or sometimes known as a mascot, who's known as Uncle Sam. And Uncle Sam represents uh, America as like a cartoon figure. Um, and posters like this were used to recruit American soldiers. And as a result of such uh, recruitment drives, hundreds of thousands of American soldiers fought during World War I. However, just after 18 months of fighting, the Americans lost 110,000 men. And in such a short time, this was obviously a massive shock to the American people. Now, this had a knock-on effect of America's views of getting involved in such an organisation like the League of Nations. Many felt that America should not have got involved in the squabbles of the European countries, uh, which were thousands of miles away. Many felt that they should have avoided getting, in, getting involved in such a horrendous conflict that ultimately killed 110,000 Americans. Now, as a result of this, other American politicians began to appeal to the American public to stay out of the affairs of the Europeans. And consequently, um, the idea of America being involved in the League of Nations was actually rejected by the American Congress, the Parliament. And as a result of this, America did not join the League of Nations. So in a moment it will be time for you to press pause in order for you to begin to look at the symbols contained within this historical cartoon in order to figure out what the overall message is. Now let me just draw your attention to the writing at the bottom because this has implications of the overall meaning. The cartoon is entitled The Gap in the Bridge and it was published in 1919 in the British magazine Punch by Leonard Ravenhill. This idea of the gap in the bridge is important when trying to think about the overall message. Now remember when looking at historical cartoons you need to look at everything in there because it's been designed for a purpose to send messages out to the audience. So look at the details within it like the, the, the so-called keystone there. Have a look at the objects within it and the, and the writing within there and the, the imagery within it. Also always make references to the body posture, the body language and facial expressions of any people or characters in there. So. It's now your turn to press pause and have a look at the overall message of the cartoon. So let's have a closer look at the symbols contained within the cartoon. Um, remember to look at all of the key details, even including uh, this sign here, because you can actually see the bridge is actually being completed, and the writing around it actually shows us um, the League of Nations bridge as designed by the President of the USA. Now, you can see that America is actually represented here by uh, Uncle Sam. And you can see that he's actually sat or laid upon the keystone. Now, the keystone is, the, is obviously the part that is missing. And the part that's missing should actually go there. Now, the message behind this is suggesting that without this keystone in place, the bridge will ultimately collapse. The bridge will be weak. 
and consequently this area around here at the bottom this could represent almost as the, the despair of the world falling into war again. Also if we look at the body language of Uncle Sam we can see that he's potentially either asleep or he's dozing in the very least and you can see that this gives the message to the audience that America does not seem to care about what will happen without the keystone in place. Now at the time when this was published, it was actually published in December of 1919, three, week, three months before the American Senate or Parliament voted not to join. So this is actually a criticism against the Americans. It's criticising uh, the Americans for delaying um, their joining of the League of Nations or actually a warning of what will happen if America does not join. So the overall message of this is saying that the, the League of Nations represented by this bridge will be weak and consequently it will not be successful in its aims in trying to stop another world war. So if we begin to make links back to the Mark Scheme, you'll see that if you simply just answer the question and directly state what the message is, you're just going to get one or two marks out of six. Of course, what you then need to do is, as well as answering the question, you need to use source details to back up your answers. And you'll need to make references to the body posture of Uncle Sam and what the message that is for the audience, and the missing keystone, and the effect that this will have on the bridge there, and any other comments, perhaps, to do with the gap underneath the bridge. Now, don't worry, you only need to make two or three points to back this up. You don't need to use all of them. And then for the contextual knowledge, you need to make some references about why why was uh, the USA um, refusing to join the League of Nations? Then you can make links back to the idea of how 110,000 men died in just 18 months of World War I and how some American politicians began to appeal to the American public that it was better if America stayed out of the affairs of Europe in order to avoid such a catastrophe from happening again. So make sure you consider those three aspects of the March Scheme when writing up your answer within the exam.